All right, what's up my brothers? Got a sponsored request here from a viewer that is stuck in Australia. He's a young father and he's looking for some advice. So let me just read this to you and we'll dispense some. It says, I've uh, been a dedicated viewer of your videos since 2020, have always valued your insights. He says, I'm a 29 year old man originally from Spain, but currently reside in Australia. I'm in a relationship with a wonderful, tall and pretty 37 year old, ooh, 29 and she's 37 woman who has blessed me with a five-year-old son. I'm facing a significant existential dilemma at the moment. I've become delusional with life in Australia due to what I perceive as limited rights for fathers, high taxes, a cultural environment that doesn't align with my traditional values. And on top of that, my online business, which earns around a quarter million profit annually, could benefit for more favorable tax climate. I'm contemplating relocating to a country that offers better conditions for fathers, lower taxes, where I can find the cultural environment more suitable, particularly in Eastern Europe, where I spent several years before meeting my current girlfriend. Who says the primary obstacle preventing my move is my girlfriend. We've had numerous arguments about our future as she wishes to stay in Australia, create a family in the suburbs, and have a second child despite our past as digital nomads exploring the world. She's now keen on a more settled down lifestyle. As a young man with an online income, I feel out of place in Australia. The cultural differences combined with the high taxes and lack of appreciation for success have led me to consider two options, and he's looking for advice. So option one, continue living in Australia until my child is older, enduring another 12 to 14 years of what feels like suffering and pain. This entails dealing with high taxes, subpar dating experiences, and a lifestyle that doesn't align with my goals. Option two, move abroad independently, parting ways with my girlfriend of 10 years and leaving my five-year-old son behind. I would commit to regular visits perhaps every three to six months to maintain connection with my child, but that is basically being an absent father. So he's known this chick for 10 years. He's 29, which means he met her when she was 19 and she was 27. Okay, that's interesting. I'm in a desperate situation and struggling to find guidance in my current environment. I appreciate any insights. Uh, happy, okay. So. My friend, uh, I'm in a very similar situation, um, although I don't have a woman telling me what I can and can't do. I have a, uh, a daughter here. Um, you know, I was, uh, I was basically raised here, if I can put it that way. I live in uh, the suburbs of Toronto in Canada. I was born in England. We came here when I was uh, very young, maybe three or four, something like that. And um, I've basically been raised here. So as far as world looks to me, this is what I would probably consider home, although I'm not fond of Canada either. Same complaints, high taxes, wokeness, liberalism, climate sort of sucks. My business could definitely benefit from a more favorable tax location. I'm more of a mountain ocean sort of guy uh, and definitely warmer climate. So I'm not, I'm not stoked about being here. Now, the difference that you have is you've got a check that's telling you what to do. I could leave at any given time if I wanted to. My daughter, although, uh, would probably suffer as a consequence of that. I made a commitment when I got divorced, she was quite young, to be part of her life, to share custody, to be uh, included in everything pretty much, and I've done that. And from my perspective, I think that that would be abandonment. I would have uh, not been a man of my word and let her down. Um, so my commitment is to be here until she's an adult, which is uh, not many years off, but still several. And I'll make a decision, a more permanent decision at that time. So I'll be doing a bit of a walkabout, if I can use the Australian term, probably for the next few years to sort of like look around to see what looks like the ideal or the most favorable spot to do this in. Um, again, I'll be looking for a place with low taxes, good climate, you know, like all the good stuff. Um, there's other things to contemplate because I do a lot of stuff online. So I'd probably want to be in Eastern uh, standard time zone, to sort of continue with the way that I broadcast. So there's, so there's that as well, but I can wait for that. Um, now she wants to have another kit and you didn't really kind of follow up on that part. Uh, so she's basically holding you hostage. She's saying, we got one five-year-old. I want another one. She's 37 which means she's pretty much close to the expiry date of her ability to get pregnant and carry a child to term in a healthy way. I mean, as women get older, uh, the risk of pregnancies going sideways and having complication go up and up and up. So there's that as well to contemplate. You made a mistake, my friend, and I warn all guys of this all the time whenever it pops up, do not get involved with older women on a long-term basis. Their time scale is very different from your time scale. Uh, beauty has an expiry date. And generally speaking, when women get to the point of menopause, then that's when it starts to go downhill pretty hard. And they also lose the ability to, of course, bring you more children. So there's that. So what would I do in your shoes? My friend, I am not in your shoes. I am in my shoes. But I will say this. Children need their father. Women are incredibly bad at raising boys and girls into men and women. 
Um, the stats are very clear on this. I've covered them in parts of my book and other podcasts in the past. And it looks something like this. The vast majority of, uh, well, we'll go right down the list. The vast majority of uh, teenage runaway suicide attempts, bad grades, gang activity, uh, the vast majority of the incarcerated today, uh, teen pregnancies, all of that stuff come from single mother households. It's unfortunate. I think women do a fantastic job in the first um, few years, like the early development years, where a lot of the nurturing and the protection and the worrying needs to sort of come in play because guys aren't uh, quite as worried about stuff as women are. But after the age of about, I'm gonna say five to seven, I think it's incredibly important for a father to be included in the kid's life. If you, if you walk away from this uh, child, then you should know that things probably won't improve for him. Um, She's 37 years old. She's going to be bitter about it. Uh, she's going to be upset, of course, because she wanted another kid. And of course, because you're abandoning her. Um, hell hath no fury like a woman scorned. You, you may not even see your child, uh, depending on what game she may want to play. It's entirely plausible that it goes that way. So there are some consequences to contemplate. And that's a tough spot to be in because it is attractive to have the ability to maneuver. Ideally, you'd think she'd want to come with you. If she was in your frame and saw you as a leader, she would basically follow you to the earth's end. Wherever you went, she would go, but that's not the case. And I believe one of the reasons why that's not the case, again, is because she's considerably older than you. When you date older women, they have a hard time entering your frame and being led uh, in any direction that you point to. Uh, they will protest more, they will become more difficult. They may even say, I'll just stay behind and you know, go if that's what it is that you wanna do. So there's that to contemplate. You guys let me know what you think. You ever been in this situation? It's, it's a difficult one. Um, so I don't have an easy answer for you, but there's my feedback from my perspective and what I think of it. You guys leave some comments below, pin in the top comment. Much useful links, my book, you should read it if you haven't. The Unplugged Alpha is a bestseller. Uh, links to my community, my supplement line. If you wanna make a request like this as well, there's a link there for that. Check those all out. See you guys next video. Peace. I don't ever slow up. No, I don't take shit. I got no love for the fakeness. If you wanna play tough, I wanna hate this. Although it's show